Hello everybody, Klaus Hessler my name. I'm here at Alain Chamois uh, Drum School in Norway. I got invited to do um, a masterclass here and uh, we were also doing some private lessons today uh, teaching Norwegian drummers. And uh, I had never been up to the north so it's exciting to me uh, it's, it's exciting for me to be here for the first time and, uh, and check out how the Vikings play the drums. <laughs> so uh, so uh, Anne-Sophie and Alain asked me to talk a little bit about one of my um, major influences uh, in terms of one of my major teachers by the name of Jim Chapin. And um, well, there's, uh, first of all, there, there's so much to say about, uh, about a, a legendary drum instructor and, and, and teacher like Jim. And uh, I have had the pleasure of uh, knowing Jim for about the last, about the last 20 years of his life. I met him in 1990, uh, and uh, pretty soon we had a we had a kind of in, in, an intense relationship going on that that went beyond just uh, teacher and student. So I would organize work for him, um, plan workshops, and um, yeah, and and put Jim to work in the in the best sense possible. Um, what uh, what Jim really did for me was. Um, Definitely changing uh, my my life as a as a drummer, absolutely. And uh, for Jim, there was never anything else than the drums. It was always the drums first. Now you, I'm, I can't say if, if that's a good thing, but uh, but it definitely changed something for me. And um, as I always say, when it comes to playing drums, it's about creating rhythms. It's about organizing dynamics, it's about organizing sounds, and this is all happening in the context of time. That's one of my favorite sentences about drumming. And uh, Jim helped me with the two major enemies, so to speak, that are constantly trying to, to keep us away from creating music, which is technique and independence. And in both regards, Jim really was a master. And um, when, uh, when I started studying with him, uh, of, of course I had heard about the Mola technique, but I didn't have a, a clear vision of what it really was and what I should do. Um, and uh, I just decided to, to follow whatever Jim would tell me. So it's, uh, it, it might sound foolish today, but, uh, but I totally, totally gave myself into the hands of, of Jim because I thought, boy, this old man, he, he really must know what, what he's doing here. At, at least it looks like that. And uh, I'm just following him. <laughs> I just follow his advice and practice as hard as I can and, uh, and do whatever he wants me to do. That was pretty much it. And um, it was one of the best decisions that I possibly ever took, apart from marrying my wife and having kids and uh, going up to Norway and so many more. But anyhow, meeting Jim was a, was a great thing. And he made a lot of things possible that would not be possible uh, if I had proceeded in any, in any other way, I'm afraid to say. So if you hear me playing drums today, a good part of that goes back to, to the influence that Jim had on me. And, uh, and the real good thing was that uh, when the discussion about Mola technique began to gain, say, a, a wider audience, um, I already had like at least... 10 or 12 years of, uh, of focused and, and reflected playing routine and practicing routine behind me. So um, in, in that sense, it, it really helped me a lot when, when people were starting to ask questions about molar technique. I already had my 10 years of, of practicing molar behind me. So, so that was really the good thing. And I just recently had to think exactly about that when, when somebody was saying, mostly takes about say 10 years of doing something in a real intense way until you can really say you're able to do it and, and to execute a, s a certain technique in, in a proper way. So uh, that reminded me of the, of the first 10 years with, with Chapin, so to speak. So, uh, I mean, in, in brief words, that's, uh, I, I think I didn't say too much now, but it, it, it really means a lot to my own development as a drummer. 
and uh, not having met Jim would um, would mean being not the drummer I am today. So I encourage everybody check out the material of Jim. His DVD is still around, Speed, Power, Control, Endurance. His legendary books are still around, Advanced Techniques for the Modern Drummer. And um, so uh, check these out. And uh, in my own material, I just try to expand as much as possible on what has been given to me by Jim. And this is also what I uh, try to forward in, in my own teaching, passing on the traditions of drumming and making you all better drummers. Okay? That's it so far from me. I hope you enjoyed this and got something out of it. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.